What's going on, ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again, and welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today is part three, the third and final part of our three-part card hobby mail day. So this is the conclusion of four months worth of cards that have been sitting there. Another huge batch, as you can see, in this last installment. So without wasting any time, let's get right to it and start going through these cards that came in. So my, my current card hobby order that I'm working on right now is about to close. So we'll see how quickly they can uh, they can send this new batch to me, but I'm happy we finally got this, this old batch all cleaned up. Uh, so first card, we got more on the 2012-13 Elite Series set chase. And actually, this is the only 2012 Elite Series card in this entire shipment. Um, most of them were in previous shipments, although I, I will have more coming in the next shipment as well. Paul Pierce, insert numbered out of 199. Getting really close to completing this uh, this veteran insert set. Uh, next few cards here we got are going to be towards the new Elite Series set chase. So we got the 2012-13 Elite Series set chase, and then I showed these off before in previous Mail Day videos. I really, really like this insert they did in Elite this year, calling it Elite Series, kind of a, a nod to the original, I think it was 92 or 93, Don Russ baseball set that I was a huge fan of, and I'm going after the color match set. So the blues are to 99. So the blue is the best color match for the Pacers. Um, there was no like, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have gotten a gold to 10, but that would have been really expensive. So we got the blue Tyrese to 99. We also got more color match stuff. This one is going to be Dame time, and this is to 75. So this is a nice green. It's actually nice that that uh, Lillard is on the Bucks now to get a green, green card. Otherwise, Blazers, ugh, black and red. I don't know. Maybe the purple would have been the best match for that, but the green, uh, neon green, looks really nice with the Dame. Got a couple more as well, and I got more on the way. That in my next regular mail day video, you'll see a bunch of these show up. I actually, the only one actually that I don't have yet is a Darren Fox purple to 49. But this is Donovan Mitchell. This is to 49. And that looks pretty sweet too. So with the Cavs, again, blue or green wouldn't have looked great. There's not a lot of colors in this set. It's blue, green, purple, and gold. And that's it. I guess there's also the orange die cuts, but those are not serial numbered. Um, and the purple looks pretty good. It's actually kind of more of like a wine color, sort of like the the, the wine red in the Cavs uniforms. So that's actually not a bad color match on the Donovan Mitchell. And in addition to that one, I also got this green. So this was not a great color match and I didn't buy this for the Donovan Mitchell. This came in a two card lot that was sold by the same seller. So we got the Donovan Mitchell green, but we also got the Lamello greens. That's why I threw this up in the background here. So what do you guys think is the better color match? I'll probably post this on Instagram as well. You guys can let me know. The blue is the 99, the green to green 75. So green's a little bit more rare. Um, I don't know. I honestly don't know which one I like better. I honestly might be leaning towards the green. And that might be just because I don't, there's not a lot of green cards in the set outside of Giannis, Dame, and Tatum. Those are really the only greens. And I have a bunch of blues. So I don't know. But drop a comment. Let me know what you think is the better color match that I should include in that set. So that's all the elite stuff. And now we got some... PC stuff. I think most of the rest of the video is all Ginobili and Denny Avdia <laughs> for the most part. So here's a Ginobili. Um, this is from Hoops. It's an insert called Picture Perfect. This is the green numbered only to 25. I actually, I already had, I don't know if it was the gold or silver. I forget what the parallel was called, but I do have a parallel number to 100. And this is the green to 25. I should do some research and see if there's actually any more of these. Um, it's probably not a ton of parallels. It's an older hoops card. What year was this? I didn't even look. It was from, yeah, 2014-15. So this is definitely an older hoops card. Got more Ginobili stuff. If I could get this open. There we go. This one is also from 2014-15. This is the elite subset of Donruss that year. This is the blue number to 99. Um, I actually already have like both the status and aspirations, the number to 20 and number to 80. I also have the gold to 10. 
and I think all the other parallels. So outside of the 101, this blue, I think was the only one I needed. So pretty sure this is gonna complete that poor man's rainbow without the 101. Uh, this next card here, we saw one of these parallels from the same set in uh, my last mail day. Select numbered 42 out of 49. This is the copper parallel. So I just got the tie-dye of the same card in the last mail day, added the copper to 49. Along with that one, now we got a bunch of Denny stuff. We got another seller from uh, using a Ziploc bag, which always cracks me up every time I get something like this. So just some cheap stuff. This is the Tmall Hyper Blue, not numbered, but from 2021, the second year card, I did not have that one yet. So that'll go in the Denny binder. These next two cards, bought two of them by mistake. I don't know why I bought two. I must have bought one and instantly forgot about it. Or maybe I thought I was buying one from one year and one from another year, but these are actually both uh, from 2022, I think. This is the 22-23 set. Yeah, 2022-23. So now I got two of those. <laughs> I'll throw them both in the binder. Uh, I got some more rare parallels of Denny stuff. This one is from 2022 Donruss, and it is a light blue, number 22, 25 out of 25, I think. I think this was T-Mall exclusive as well, if I remember correctly, um, the blue to 25. So another nice rare Denny there. All right, we got a whole bunch of new Prism stuff now. So now that 2023 Prism has been out for a while, a lot of Denny's parallels have been showing up and I've got a lot of these on car hobby really cheap. This is to 299. So this is just a regular red, nice color match though with the red Jersey. Always try and get all the red and blue parallels if I can. And you know, the card hobby auctions start at like 14 cents each. And a lot of times they don't get many bids if it's a lower end card. This one's 41 out of 88. There is the red choice. This is always one of my, one of my favorite parallels. Each year I love the choice parallels with the scope pattern on there. Always looks great. So more Denny's for the binder. And again, we got a couple more from uh, the new Prism set, 59 out of 199, so this is gonna be the blue. So again, always going after the, the reds and the blues, getting as many of these as I can. Another Ziploc bag, and this one is uh, shorter print, 34 out of 49, which means this is gonna be the blue scope, also choice exclusive. Again, love the blue scope pattern. And I think one more, one more prism parallel. This one is not numbered, but snakeskin. These are pretty rare. I watched a few case breaks. Um, I, I did some player breaks of uh, Denny for, for cheap when I saw him on eBay trying to maybe hit something rare out of prism. Didn't really hit un anything, unfortunately, but I, I did watch the recap of a few case breaks that I entered. And these were probably about between two to four per case, um, I would say. I think I'll, around three is probably the average per case. So three per case on a 300 card set, definitely very low print run on those. And it, it does look, the, the red looks pretty nice too with the jersey as well. So not quite a color match, but, but pretty close. All right, a couple more cards in this first package. And then we got one more package with more stuff in it. I have bought so many raw copies of this card to 125 blue cracked ice rookie let me try and get this piece of tape off of here so we can get a slightly better look at the oh man why do people <laughs> put this super sticky heavy tape I, I don't understand why anyone would do that um so kind of hard to see i'll i'll take a closer look after the video but i bid on this on card because the centering looked pretty spot on. I think it looks perfect, honestly. I don't see top to bottom, left to right, looks pretty perfect to me. Definitely within PSA 10 range. Um, and I tr always try to look closely at the corners on the back too. They had good pictures of the back. These This year Prism had a really bad problem with bad corners on the back, especially on the top with those dark borders. But this looks pretty clean all the way around. So this is the only PSA 10 
that I don't have yet for the blue and red color match prism rookies or the serial number to prism rookies. Um, so this is gonna be, hopefully there's no like dents or anything. I'll have to take a closer look at it after the video. But if this one looks like it might be able to get a 10, it'll be definitely be showing up in my next PSA video. And then the last card from this first package is a PSA graded one. And you can see it's from Donruss Optic. Again, no numbering on the back, but this is the Super Short Print Photon. So this was a case hit that was brand new in 2020. Um, I was never, it's kind of a weird looking pattern, honestly, but I like that it's rare. It's only a PSA 8, I don't care about that. I'm gonna crack it out of here and put it in my binder anyway. Um, but I do like that the red is a pretty decent color match um, to the, at least parts of the red on the jersey. So this was the last, I think the last non-numbered super short print Denny I needed from 2020 Optic. I already had the checkerboard, which was the retail exclusive, and the dragon, which was the choice exclusive, and this was the hobby exclusive uh, super short print photon. So out of the non-numbered short prints, uh, this was the last one I needed from Denny's rookie season. So very happy to add that. Now let's go into our next package. We got a bunch more parallels and other cool stuff to go through. So let's see what we got here. So Elite, I really, really like this Elite set. So, you know, I've been going, you've seen the Elite Series set that I'm going after, the insert set, but I think they do a really good job with the parallels. These parallels look, I think, a lot better than a lot of other sets. It kind of has that um, vinyl, so like the vinyl pattern in the background. So the gold vinyl one-on-ones that you typically see from Optic and other sets, they use the same type of surface effect on these. And I got this super cheap when it first came out, but if you might remember from previous mail day videos, I've actually already gotten the jersey numbered nine out of 99. So don't really need that one anymore, unfortunately, but that's what happens when you're buying a bunch of cheap stuff right after release. Sometimes I'll, I'll eventually find the jersey numbered version and then I'll, I'll be stuck with an extra one that I don't really need. All right, we got more from Elite. This is the green to 75, really, bright, vibrant green, very cool card. All right, and then we got some even more rare ones here. This one was a nice new addition that they added uh, for 2023, black to 25, and upside down jersey number, nine. <laughs> Six of 25, but man, this looks super clean. Really like the look of the black parallel this year, a really nice addition to this year of Elite. And we got two more for Elite, two more cool rare ones. This one, I always try and go after these every year. The die cuts, this is the Aspirations, numbered at a 91. So again, it's always 100 minus the jersey number. So this is 100 minus nine is 91. So they do this every year. That one to 91. And then I actually couldn't believe I, I found one of these so soon after the set came out, but we got the other die cut, and that is the status number out of nine. Seven out of nine, such a cool card. Love these, uh, I love putting these together every year. You've probably seen, I've done lots of posts and mail days of all the Ginobili ones I've from previous years that I've picked up where I've matched them up together. The Denny ones are hard just because the status is numbered only to nine. So it's not very often that these pop up for sale. And actually, if he's in next year's Elite set, it's gonna get even harder because his numbers change. He's now number eight. <laughs> so next year, the status is gonna be out of only eight. So we'll see. Hopefully I can find him next year as well, but really happy to put, put those together. And we got a couple more Danny stuff as well. This one is works in progress. So I've already got a couple copies of this. I have the red to 149, I think it, what is the other one? Or 149 and 99 or 125? This one's out of only 25. <laughs> so this is definitely the most rare out of all of them. I forget this here. It might be 49. I think it might be 149 and then 49 and 25 on this one. This is the Sapphire, I think. I think it's the Violet's the 49, Sapphire's the 25, but this is definitely the rarest one. So happy to add that. Um, we got some gold stuff. Always love adding golds whenever I can. This is the choice gold from this year, Donruss, numbered 10 out of 10. 
I haven't been able to find the hollow gold laser yet, um, the regular hobby version. So I'm still on the lookout for the gold laser to 10, but got the gold choice to 10. We got some more golds here as well. This one from Hoops, current year of Hoops 2023. So we got this gold as well, numbered one out of 10. So pretty cool, another gold. And we got some stuff even more rare than gold here from Mosaic. This is numbered three out of eight. This is the black gold. So in part two of this uh, mail day, I, I, I showed off the auto uh, black gold, the collage mosaic number eight that I have. And this is the base from the same set, number eight. So love stacking my rare Denny's there. Uh, this next card, and there's a reason why I put this up in the background. So we'll show in a second. We got another laundry tag from Goodwin Champions. This is the regular set. This is, I think it was called like the Splash of Color. So it's got that color in the background. And there was a really specific reason why I like these Goodwin Champions cards. I don't own, these are the only two Denny cards that I own that are just memorabilia cards without an auto. The only other memorabilia cards that I have also have an auto. And that's because the, the, his rookie year stuff is not game worn or even player worn. It's just not associated with anything. So I don't really like getting the jersey or relic cards if it's just by itself. But with the auto, I'll make an exception to get the auto. Uh, but the reason I like these is because of the wording on the back. So trading card with memorabilia provided by Denny Avdia for the Upper Deck Company. So I don't know where exactly it's from, but they got it directly from him. And this one on the back, and this one actually is um, numbered out of 65, so it's a little more common, um, but not all, most of them don't have the laundry tag like this one does. This one's numbered out of only 25. So these are definitely a lot harder to come across, but has the uh, same message on the back, material provided by Denny Avdia. So, don't know exactly where it came from, but I love that they're both laundry tags and that they actually came from somewhere. It's not just like a Dick Sporting Goods uh, jersey. So really, really cool card that I was happy to pick up there. And then very last one, one of my favorite sets. I've been trying to get every parallel of this card that I can. One and one. Green, three out of five. So the only parallel I don't have yet is the gold to 10, <laughs> which... I hope I can find one someday. It, it's kind of impossible to find those. I never really see them for sale. I've seen greens come up for sale a few times and I've tried bidding and have lost on them. But this one finally bid and won. And I think I, I forget what my bid was. I think this ended up being like maybe 60 bucks or something like that overall. And I think my winning bid was like just barely enough to win it. So crazy that this one, the greens are more rare than the gold. These are to five, whereas the golds are to 10, but the golds always command typically um, higher selling price. So still on the lookout for a gold of one of these. I hope eventually I can find it, but for now, I've got everything besides the one one and the gold. Um, but that's gonna do it. Part three of the mail day finally complete. Hope you guys enjoyed watching all these. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all on the next video.